For this activity, we're going to do some experimental doodling. The surrealists had a complicated word for it called entopic graphomania. This activity would help them to practice looking closely and to find inspiration, patterns, and shapes in the unexpected. This simple activity is just about joining dots. Using a piece of paper, look closely at your paper. Look for any imperfections you can see and mark them with a dot. This might be hard to see at first, but the longer you look, the more apparent they will become. This could be a scrunch or fold in the paper, a mark, a blotch, anything. Once you've marked these, you're going to join the dots with lines in whatever way feels right to you. You can use curved wavy lines, straight lines, they can cross over, etc. Some interesting shapes will emerge from this. Another way to do this exercise is to use a piece of newspaper or a photocopy of a book. Choose a letter, look closely at the text, and circle the letter wherever it appears. Then continue as you were before, using these as the dots that you're going to join with lines. A key word in this exercise is experimental. You're just trying something new. It doesn't have to go in any particular way, and you shouldn't place any judgment on what you're doing. Once we've joined all the dots, we're going to fill in the blanks. In your choice of tool, pick one colour that you were drawn to. The next step is to start filling in the spaces in between the lines in a way that seems relaxing to you. You can try different techniques and marks as you go along. And as soon as you find one that feels right, you can stick with it and just enjoy the process of filling in the blank space. Don't feel the need to fill it all in, just follow your instinct. How's it looking, Holly? Oh, I actually think it looks great. <laughs>